With the LS50 wireless, to get the best possible sound performance, we would recommend you use dedicated loudspeaker stands and then position the speakers about two and a half to three meters apart and arrange your listening position to be directly in the center, again, at about two and a half to three meters. However, because the LS50 wireless is a DSP loudspeaker, we've tried to include some DSP settings to allow you to be a bit more versatile when it comes to placing your loudspeakers in your home. There are two different ways to access the EQ settings on the LS50W. The simplest way is to use the buttons on the rear of the loudspeaker. If you have the loudspeakers placed on a desk, then simply press the button and enable the desk EQ. If you have the loudspeakers close to a wall, then press the second button and enable the wall EQ. Or if you have it on a desk and close to a wall, you can turn both of these on. And these will adjust the sound of the loudspeaker to, to compensate for the likely effect of the desk and the wall. On the back of the slave loudspeaker, you'll find a small control for adjusting the left-right balance. Uh, this can be very useful for correcting the stereo image if you're not able to sit midway between the two loudspeakers. The second way to control the EQ settings on the LS50W is to use the phone app. So please refer to our other video on how to get the phone app and how to set up your loudspeakers. On the phone app, you'll find a menu called speaker sound settings. When you receive the loudspeakers, they will be set in default mode. And that gives you the best sound performance for when you have your speakers on stands away from walls. There's two ways that you can control the EQs. The first way, and that's the way we're going to look at here, is the basic menu. So if you select that, then what you'll see is a series of questions about where we've placed the loudspeakers. The first question, where is your speaker? So currently it's set to on a stand. If I select on a desk, now that's exactly the same as pushing the first button on the back of the loudspeakers. Except this time, I have a slider so that I can fine tune how much EQ is applied. And what you will see is the slider is laid out in centimeters. So we recommend you get a tape measure. You measure roughly how far back your speakers are from the edge of the desk. And we use that to get a good initial setting for the slider. The wall mode is exactly the same. So there's a second slider below that says speaker distance to wall. Again, if you use a tape measure to measure where your speakers are, you can get a very good first idea of where to set this slider. One of the advantages of using the app to control the loudspeaker settings is that you have some more options that aren't available on the back of the loudspeaker. So for example, we have a control here saying, how is your room? And we can continuously slide from damp to moderate and to lively. So for example, if you have a room with heavy curtains, carpet, and lots of soft furniture, then you'll probably find the sound it can be a bit dull and lacking in detail. If you slide the slider to damped, that helps to compensate for that. Conversely, if your room has hard floors, no curtains, you might find the loudspeaker is too bright, in which case put the slider over to lively to compensate for that. With a passive loudspeaker, if you want more bass extension, then you normally have to buy a bigger loudspeaker. But with a DSP loudspeaker, we can give you more bass extension when you're listening quietly. And there's a setting to control how much. The standard mode gives you a little bit more bass than a passive LS50. But you can choose less if you don't want to have more, or even a little bit more. You just select the more setting. On the back of the master speaker, there's an output for plugging in a subwoofer. And this is always on. However, when you're using a subwoofer, we'd suggest you enable subwoofer mode because this allows you to choose how much bass is handled by the main loudspeakers and how much by the subwoofer. And it also allows you to fine tune the volume of the subwoofer. All of the settings that are in the basic menu are also shown in the expert menu, but this time the sliders are shown in the exact dB. There's one additional setting. In the LS50W, we have a special filter that corrects the timing of the mid and the high frequencies to make sure they arrive at your ear perfectly in sync. 
and there's an option to disable this if you would prefer more of a traditional passive loudspeaker sound.